Hyuna Park and her trio that uh, features Miles Sloniker on bass and Peter Trunmauer on drums. And Hyuna Park will be in town on Monday, but we have her on the line right now. Hyuna, welcome to WPFW. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so it's a real pleasure. So uh, you, you hooked up with uh, Burnett Thompson to play as part of his Piano Jazz DC series that uh, will be Monday at the Decatur House Museum. Tell us how you made that connection. Oh, uh, I, I'm i honored uh, to be invited by uh, Burnett Thompson uh, for this two piano series. I I knew of it and that um, the series uh, has been featuring great musicians and I, I, I couldn't believe that I got uh, invited <laughs> to be part of it. <laughs> So, uh, uh, you know, I, I see, you know, you've been very busy. I, I see you, you've been streaming a lot at, uh, at Smalls and Mesro and, uh, keeping very busy even all through the, through the COVID pandemic. But, uh, but let's go back to, to how did you get started playing the piano when you were growing up in Korea? Oh, my mother had a piano school right next to the house. So uh-huh. I. <laughs> okay. Well, that was- that would that would certainly do it. Uh, uh, yes, playing a lot of classical music, I imagine, as you were growing up. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's such a great. I was very lucky to have a great opportunity to to be exposed. <laughs> and, and what what turned you on to jazz? How did you start uh, uh, listening to jazz and then start start performing it? Um, I, I was about to, uh, preparing for my audition to, to go to uh, college in Korea. And, um, I was into uh, the improvisation and I also got, um, to, in, uh, exposed to some, some of the great recordings, like Sarah Vaughn and Bill Evans and Oscar Peterson and D.D. Bridge. Water as well at the time. It, it, it's kind of random <laughs> mm-hmm. mixture, but that was the only recording that I could get in the small town in Korea at the time. And I was very fascinated about the sound and vibe of everything. Yeah, I wanted to do that. <laughs> and so, how, how did you make it to the United States? What, how did you uh, arrange to come over here? I went to Queens College. Uh, I, I was visiting um, to figure things out, and I got to meet uh, the head of the department, which was Professor Michael Mossman, and oh. mm-hmm. I was very lucky to get an uh, in, uh, instant uh, audition. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that should certainly demonstrate some talent there, absolutely, Uh uh, well, well, uh, Jimmy Heath taught at Queens College for many years. Uh, yes. Premier yes. professor, uh, and uh, I was was good friends with the late Mister Heath. Uh, it was a real, real privilege to know him. But I see you uh, got you got the Jimmy Heath Award. Tell us about that. I also was very lucky <laughs> to get the, uh, to get the award, and I actually got to meet him um, a couple of times. Uh, he was giving some uh, lectures in cl- uh, clinics uh, while I was there, and yeah, he's wisdom and um, and and the uh, and how can I say wisdom and love to to the music and just being himself in the music really inspired uh, me a lot. Yeah, uh-huh. oh, I could see the swing <laughs> in his body, and that's something. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Heath was such a special uh, person. He was really a de- not only mm-hmm. dedicated to the music, a great performer, you know, but a, but a great educator, and and for me, a, a wonderful friend. I was really really privileged to 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 know him and have that friendship for years. Mm-hmm. So, how did you get your your start professionally? You started getting paying gigs after after you came out of Queens College. Who were some of the people you worked with? Yeah, some of the friends from the college also, and then I got to know some uh, French admissions here as well, and yeah, one to the another, uh, in a couple of, um, couple of events. 
I am going to play with uh, John Yao, big band as well, in next week. And he graduated as well uh, from Queen's College. Also, uh, many help and, and love from, from the professors who, who connected me. So my husband's uh, professor, <laughs> who's Luis Bonilla, is a great trombonist as well. So I, I got a lot of love from everybody. Uh-huh. So your husband actually has a, a connection to the university where I teach jazz history at. Uh, uh, tell us about that. Yes. <laughs> he is a GP person. Does it make sense? <laughs> his, his deep heart is in D.C. Um, he, he went to the college and he... Studied uh, with Charles and I, that's what I've heard from the first day. <laughs> yeah, Calvin J- uh, Calvin Jones is just an incredible professor of music at the University of the District of Columbia. But I I, I understand your husband was also a, a classmate of the current director of the uh, of, of the program there, and, and some other connections. Yeah. yeah, you told me you went to uh, the school with. Uh, great pianist as well, Alan Johnson, and I think they share the same birthday. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Same birthday. <laughs> that, that is fantastic. That, that is really, really awesome. So tell us about the, uh, the, the concert that you're going to have at the, uh, uh, at the, on Monday for the, the DC Piano Jazz Series. Yes, that will be my first uh, solo piano concert, and I am going to play couple of tunes from my first album, Her Morning Waltz, and I also recorded my second album that will be released in soon, and also a couple of standards that I love as well. <laughs> so the, uh, the performance uh, this coming Monday is at 7 o'clock. It's at the Decatur House Museum at uh, 748 Jackson Place uh, Northwest, and uh, uh, I, I guess so. One, you know, I, I we we have all these emails that come out with with links to the performance that uh, Burnett sends out, and if you want to get one, I suggest that you uh, uh, email Burnett at Burnett at pianojazz dot com, and you can get the the information on purchasing tickets uh, for uh, uh, for this performance with the uh, Hyuna Park Solo Piano. Part of an incredible series that's been going on for about oh, about eight years now, and and you and I, I, I've interviewed all of the artists, so it's it's really a pleasure to to continue this and, and talk with you tonight. Uh, 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 I, you know, it's, it's been been a real pleasure. And I'm looking forward to the performance on Monday. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. So you uh, now when you're writing compositions, now we 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 heard one, uh, 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 the way to the stars. Yeah, it was really easy. But this next one we have queued up is another one of yours called Grandpa's Clock. Tell us about how you approached that. Um, that was about the big clock that was in my my grandpa's my grandparents' house, and um, it's the reminiscence about um, the time that um, that I grew up in a big family, and that house is not there anymore, and. Some of the family member we don't get to see, and that's a little sadness there. But then, yeah, remembering that sweet um, time. <laughs> uh-huh. And and finally, we're, we're in the midst of of our uh, fundraising this uh, this time of the year uh, for the radio station, and we're asking people to call two zero two five eight eight nine seven three nine or pledge online at wpfwfm dot org. And I was wondering if you'd say a few words why. A station like this is important to an artist like you. Mm, yes. Um, the, uh, the terms of the outlet, the outlet, and, and, and how how many people, how many stations play your music? I guess is is, is the point I'm trying to trying to make. Yes, it's it is it is very important, and it, it encourages so much to write and create more music, and continue continue this. Yeah, this musical journey. <laughs> well, we're so we're so glad to, to share it with you. And uh, uh, again, uh, I want to thank uh, all of the people who've called so far uh, to to help ra- raise our our funds here. And and again, 
We're going to have a full house on Monday at the Decatur House Museum. Again, it's at 748 Jackson Place Northwest, and it's part of this whole uh, DC Jazz Piano Series. And again, uh, uh, d- drop Burnett Thompson a- an email at uh, burnett at pianojazz.com to uh, connect with getting tickets for this, this performance on Monday. So we're going to hear Grandpa's Clock right now, Huni, and uh, thanks again for, for calling in tonight. It's been a real pleasure talking with you. Thank you so much for having okay. me. You're welcome.